how to connect a domain to your Shopify store. So in the video today, I'll show you step-by-step -step on how you can connect your domain to your Shopify store. And basically this will go ahead and brand your store properly. And basically customers will be able to find you a lot quicker this way as it will actually be branded. So with that being said, let's go ahead and show you how that's done in this video. Now you can see I'm currently on the dashboard here. You're gonna wanna head over to the settings page. It should be located in the left-hand bottom corner. Click settings and in this panel right here, scroll all the way down until you find the domain section and just go ahead and click on it. Now, here you actually see the option. You can actually buy a new domain or connect an existing domain. But if you're gonna buy a new domain, I really suggest you going with Namecheap. I will have a link down in the description. You can actually go ahead and pick yourself up a domain. Uh, they're a lot cheaper on here, I've noticed and I've compared prices. Um, I believe this domain itself, stalgicam.com, was about six, seven dollars. And on Shopify, it's probably like $20, $30. They really do up price it a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Um, you can go ahead and use Namecheap. I do have a referral code down below if you want to go ahead and use it. To get your first domain here. So uh, basically, once you go ahead, get your domain set and ready, or just click connect existing domain, you're going to want to go ahead and copy and paste your domain into the uh, connect existing domain place here. So just go ahead and uh, paste it here and click next. Now you're gonna be able to see, um, you know, connecting your domain. So you can actually follow this set of instructions right here, but I'm just gonna sum it up for you really quick. So in your domain settings here, uh, head over to advanced DNS on your domain settings. Now it should go ahead and open up uh, host records here. Now under host records, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have an A record and a C name record. Now an A record, you're gonna wanna go ahead and just copy what I have right here. Uh, make sure you go ahead and use an at as the host. And then this IP address, you're gonna wanna go ahead and paste on here as well. This IP address is basically gonna go ahead and point to Shopify IP address, which is gonna go ahead and connect your Shopify store. So just go ahead and put that, and then TTL can be automatic. Just go ahead and leave that automatic. C name record, you're going to want to make sure that you actually have the host as www and then make sure the value is set to shops.myshopify.com and you can add another dot here and then click automatic and then TTL is just obviously automatic for both. So once you've done that, that is now the correct way to actually, you know, um, connect your store or whatever domain to the source. So all you have to do now is just head back to this page where it says connect, connect existing domain and verify the connection here. Now, in most cases, you may get an error your first time uh, verifying the connection here, but that's totally all right. Just give it some time to actually connect. It does take a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and click verify connection here and and basically it's gonna go ahead, you can see it is now connected my Shopify store here. So basically you can see that the target of this is the online store and it's pointing to my online store. And this is my primary domain. Now, if you wanna actually change your domain type, you can actually change it to a redirecting domain or an alias domain. That is currently up to you. Um, it says right here, misuse can harm SEO. So uh, if you're really like SEO, um, you know, handy or you love SEO, then it might hurt SEO. So just try not to do that. Um, redirect domain or primary domain are the ones you want to go ahead and mess with. So uh, basically that's how you go ahead and add a domain to your Shopify store or connect a domain to your Shopify store. It's very easy and it's super simple to do. So with that being said, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Leave a comment down below what you guys thought of this video and if you found it helpful. And if you did, thank you guys so much. But with that being said, uh, I'll go ahead and see you guys until next time.